Good evening. Today we are going to start our lecture series on microbial production of industrial products and the first product that we'll be discussing today is citric acid. Citric acid was first discovered as a constituent of lemon but with our advanced knowledge and advanced research we now know that citric acid is an intermediate of Krebs cycle and hence is present in all living organisms. Citric acid is majorly found in citrus fruits such as grapes, limes, lemons, oranges, etc. Earlier it was thought that lemons are the only sources for citric acid but now it is, it is vastly produced by microbial fermentation. Let us see first the biosynthesis of citric acid that is the biological process by which citric acid is produced in nature. Citric acid is a primary metabolite product which is produced by the involvement of glycolysis and Krebs cycle. The other name of glycolysis is M10 Meerhof pathway. In glycolysis, glucose is first converted to pyruvate which is then decarboxylated in Krebs cycle to give oxaloacetate. This oxaloacetate next combines with acetyl coenzyme to give citric acid. Citric acid is produced by microorganisms as a primary metabolite during the tropophase, which then gets accumulated in the fermentation broth and is later separated and purified. Citric acid is produced by organisms as the product of incomplete oxidation of sugars. Next, we see the microorganisms that are involved in the production of citric acid. The bacteria that are used include Cornibacterium species, Bacillus lichiniformis, Arthrobacter paraffinans, etc. The fungi that are used include Aspergillus niger, Aspergillus venti, Aspergillus clavatus, Aspergillus nidulens, Penicillium citrinum, Penicillium luteum and many more. Among these, Aspergillus niger are the most widely used fungus for citric acid production. Next comes the yeast which includes Candida catenula, Candida lipolytica, Saccharomycopsis species, etc. Now we come to the fermentation technology that is used for the production of citric acid. The fermentation for citric acid production are of two types, surface fermentation and submerged fermentation. The surface fermentation is again of two types. It's solid surface fermentation and liquid surface fermentation. The solid surface fermentation includes the use of rice bran which is carried out in less developed areas of some Asian countries. The pH of the medium is adjusted to 4 to 5 and then it is sterilized. After this, now the inoculum in the form of spores of Aspergillus niger is spread as layers and incubated at 28 degrees Celsius. The growth of organisms on solid surface fermentation can be accelerated by the addition of alpha amylase. At the end of the process, citric acid is extracted into hot water and then it is isolated. Liquid surface fermentation includes the use of liquid as nutrient medium and the vessels that are used are aluminium pans or stainless steel pans. For liquid surface fermentation, the widely used source are beet molasses. Here the inoculum is Spread over the medium, then sterile air is passed for supplying oxygen as well as for cooling. 
द टेम्परेचर इज मेंटेन्ड अराउंड थर्टी डिग्री सेल्शियस ड्यूरिंग फर्मेंटेशन एज द स्पोर्ट्स जर्मिनेट अ लेयर ऑफ माइसीलियम इज फॉर्म्ड ओवर द मीडियम द पी एच ऑफ द न्यूट्रिय मीडियम फॉल्स टू लेस दैन टू द फर्मेंटेशन इज स्टॉप्ड आफ्टर सेवन टू फिफ्टीन डेज नेक्स्ट द माइसीलियम एंड न्यूट्रिय सोल्यूशन आर सेपरेटेड द माइसीलियम इज मेकैनिकली प्रेस्ड एंड थरली वॉश्ड द फाइनल ईल्ड ऑफ सिट्रिक एसिड इज यूजली इन द रेंज ऑफ पॉइंट सेवन टू पॉइंट नाइन पर ग्राम ऑफ शुगर इन सर्फिस फर्मेंटेशन सिट्रिक एसिड इज एक्सट्रैक्टेड बाई लीचिंग देन प्रसिपिटेटेड एज कैल्शियम सिट्रेट The next process is submerged fermentation. Around eighty percent of the world's supply of citric acid is produced by submerged processes. This is the most preferred method because it is highly efficient and has easy automation. For submerged fermentation, two types of bio reactors are in use: stirred tanks. and aerated towers in submerged fermentation the steps that are involved are first is the inoculum preparation here the spores of aspergillus niger are first inoculated in a small liquid medium after incubation for some time the inoculum is subcultured into a fresh and large volume medium this process is repeated till desired amount of inoculum in the form of fungal pellets is achieved during this process it has to be made sure that the pellets which are formed should be small in size that is they should be less than 1 mm in diameter and should have fluffy centers the carbohydrate sources that are used for production of citric acid includes cane and beet molasses starch date syrup cotton wastes fruit wastes which includes peels of banana pineapple oranges or of any fruits brewery wastes etc as carbohydrate source high sugar containing media is preferable that is the medium should contain about 14 to 20% of glucose or sucrose so that the our, our inoculum can use the more amount of sugar for its processing the carbohydrate source that is used is treated with ion exchange to control metal ion concentration nitrogen sources for citric acid production includes ammonium salts nitrates and urea the trace metals which are used includes manganese iron and zinc ph value of the medium should be less than 2.5 it is so because low ph suppresses the production of oxalic and gluconic acid production and hence lowers the risk of contamination aeration in the bio reactor should be between 0.2 to 1 vvm here vvm stands for volume of air sparged per unit volume of growth medium per minute the anti foaming agents that are used during the process includes lard oil or some mechanical anti foaming devices like with air sparger the medium should be stirred so that air bubbles are formed which makes the production of citric acid much more efficient time taken for the production of citric acid 
is between 5 to 14 days that is the incubation period is 5 to 14 days and the optimum temperature for citric acid production is between 27 to 33 degrees celsius the last step in citric acid production is the product recovery that means finally we are going to recover our citric acid from the fermentation broth and how is it achieved let's see the fermentation broth is first filtered until it becomes clear once it is clear the calcium citrate is precipitated by adding magnesium free calcium hydroxide because magnesium is more soluble than calcium some acid may be lost in the solution as magnesium citrate if magnesium is added hence we use magnesium free calcium hydroxide next this calcium citrate is filtered and this filter cake is treated with sulfuric acid to precipitate the calcium using activated carbon the dilute solution containing citric acid is purified and passed through ion exchange pits finally this purified dilute acid is evaporated to yield crystals of citric acid hence we come to the end of this lecture next we will be discussing some other products produced by microbial fermentation thank you and have a nice day